Hey guys, Pelofort here with another episode of Empire Total War. Um, in this video, we're gonna try to assault Berlin. Maybe it'll work, maybe it won't. <clears throat> so, move my armies in. And what I'm. Oh, I didn't press space to make them go faster. Um, what I'll probably try to do is um make it close like I'm not gonna attack Berlin until I move um Stanislaw Stanislav Honokowski's troops to assault it at the same time. And Prussia has a nine star general. Just thought I should let you know. Um, so we see over here that Russia took over the Crimean Khanate. Wow, that's really bad news. Okay. So, we can give Missouri a... I'm pronouncing that like a real American. Tenanted farms. And then we're going to build a weaver's cottage in Wuj which is one of our industrial types. The others is um, smiths, the iron stuff. Um, that will increase our region's wealth more than farming. But it also pisses off poor people. Don't get why. I mean, they're getting jobs. Um, let's see here. Research. I did switch it over to the plug bayonet. And, um, yeah, I'll probably be doing military, industrial, and agricultural for quite a while before I do any of the, like, social changes stuff. That stuff for pussies. Um, I'll just keep auto resolving my way to greatness. And with that, I'll end the turn. I did that pretty quickly. My last video was only eight minutes because I didn't time it. Which is a little more, but whatever. Um, the region I want most right now is Celestial. I mean, um, Berlin. I've even been known to give it away to Saxony once, just because it's so hard to contain, and it is really good once you like fix it up. Austria, there, there you they go again, asking for a military alliance. Uh, okay, so see here, their allies are Bavaria and Württemberg and the Netherlands. All those guys will be easy to fight off should I go to war with Austria. So I'm just gonna say fuck you and if they want to attack me they can because I think I have a good shot in Prussia. Oh they're, they're nine star generals in Saxony. Uh oh. Now, Dresden and Berlin are really close, so I'm not sure if this will happen, but it's very possible that they might be able to use troops from both cities to defend one of them. In which case, um, well, in which case, more troops will probably be necessary. So what I do is I save state, try attacking them, and if it fails, I go back and try again. Oh, I also never mentioned that little animated intro that I put in the beginning. It was really short, kind of tacky, but uh, it showcases my mediocre video editing skills. And um, that'll probably be standard for all of my videos from now on. I didn't do it with Super Mario 64 because I wasn't sure if I was going to continue being the Let's Player, but I loved it. And here I am. So, with that, I'm not going to um, 
put any money into industry or, or anything like that yet. Just for the fact that if I take Prussia this turn, I'm going to be spending money rebuilding everything. Oh, speaking Polish. Okay, so what we're doing now, I'm going to save state. Go in to Berlin. And they have all the reinforcements from um, Saxony there. So, here we go. It looks, it look, it's looking pretty good. We have won. Berlin is ours. So, here we go, rebuilding everything. And there's a college in Magdeburg, which we're going to smash because it's making the people angry. And other than that, we acquired quite a bit. We got another Weaver's Cottage. Um, we can build a church school there because Berlin's going to be pretty Protestant. And look at that. The people are pretty pissed. Okay. So we'll do what we can and say you don't have to pay taxes. We'll move in all the horses and all the king's men. They don't want to go all the way. Um, and that's all I can do. Um, if you're asked, if you're wondering, Gottfried Arnold here, who I've been trying to assassinate, will disappear when Prussia vanishes off the face of the map. So, I'll just get Pavel to try to assassinate some of these. Um, eh, let's go for Eugen first. Uh, oh, this guy's pretty good. Yeah, Eugen is the Austrian, my bad. He needs to be taken out. And if Pavel dies, well, I'll miss you, buddy. And with that, we shall end our turn. And I'll check the time here on this iPhone I'm going to sell. And we have about two minutes, a little more, till we hit the ten minute mark, which I'm not afraid to go over. So, maybe it's just that the first video was longer because it's the first turn, and it's always longer. So, I'm bringing about four minutes a turn. Austria has declared war on me. Fucking great. Thanks, guys. Okay, so I want my allies to help. Of course, Denmark won't. Poland won't do anything, and Russia is probably not going to help either. But, I have the potential to be fucked. Okay, so not exactly what I want it to happen, but it'll have to do. <laughs> Russia's gonna mess with us again. I was hoping for Austria and Prussia to sort of weaken themselves out on each other, but looks like that won't happen either. <laughs> I wonder if Denmark would take Berlin. I don't know, it's risky. I think I might do that. I'll try to give Denmark to Berlin. Or, what? I'll try to give Berlin to Denmark. Then I don't have to deal with keeping them happy. And I'll eventually um, declare war on Denmark, or Sweden will take it, I don't know. And I can just have it again. Because i got to take down Austria first, and then by that time, I'll probably be a superpower. And I won't have to worry about stuff like, oh, I have to hold troops here while I... Yep, see, Brandenburg's fucking pissed. And Austria's all like, yeah. and Berlin is like, oh, shit. So, 
remove all troops out of the capital. And we've hit 10 minutes. So I'll make it quick. Hey, Danmark. Actually, I think if I just click here. Hey, we're going to negotiate with you. We'll give you Brandenburg. And you always got to put something sweet in for him. And we'll give you six bucks. Nope, nope, not what I meant. And we'll give you not make you pay six bucks. Come on, pretty enticing offer, huh? Of course, they take it. Okay. I'm glad we can see eye to eye on something, Denmark. So, with that, I will get Pavel to come and assassinate Eugen. Not gonna happen. See? Okay, just run into Rokov like you went got nothing on you. Fuck Fanya. I won. Win, win, beat him up. Oh, uh huh. You go think. Okay, so Celestia's so mine. I had to sacrifice Berlin to the Danes to have the rights to it, but I mean, better than never, huh? All right, later we'll plan our attack against Saxony. We might push off the map. You know, we might give that to Denmark just to be like, "Hey, bro, bros, we're chill, right?" But um, yeah, they're my ally. Um, we're gonna recruit this time line infantry in Poland and horses in Königsberg because they're the f ones that are further away. And, um, we don't have to levy taxes, because the, um, Celestians aren't that pissed. Let's see if we can take taxes up on... Alright, better not risk it. Next turn, we will. Um, so, when Prussia is destroyed eternally, internally, eternally, and Germany never exists in the future, we'll know... That's because, well, um, Poland took Berlin and then gave it to Denmark. <laughs> okay, that's weird. See you next time, guys. This is Palafort.